Hey, Turtle Club guys, gals, everybody out there watching us, we are live. It is 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this wonderful, awesome day known as Wednesday morning. And we are about to play Mag vs. Wild Survival Edition, which is our, our game where we play Ark Survival Evolved, guys, and we're on the Ragnarok server. Uh, there may be a Dig Red or a uh, Red Dust or a McAdoo or a number of people running around on here. Uh, but we're doing a base build. We have gotten to the point to where we have so many dinos, we can't possibly house them all. So I'm, I'm doing a, a retrofit and a build. And, uh, oh, that's a, uh, a light in the living room, it looks like. Okay. Uh, we will... Oh, yep, that's that's a dig right running around. Oh, there we go. Okay. I didn't, I didn't even check that. Hey, Anthony, how's that going? Um, I, I'm not sure what money you're talking about. Hey, Raphael, how's it going? Axelrod. Um, I I know there might have been a, a... Did you donate, Anthony, through, like, Super Chat, or... Because I don't remember seeing it on Streamlabs. Let me, let me check Streamlabs real quick to see... Dashboards. Um, here we go. I can see who all did everything last month. And... Wait a second. Wait a second. The stream you donated. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm checking on right now, man. I, I gotta... I figure out what's going on here. Something's going on really weird. Alright. Let me... Let me pull it out, guys. In just a second, we'll get this going. Because I always want to make sure, if anybody asks anything about their, you know, what they've done to help support the channel, I want to make sure I got the right answer for them. And let's see here. I... Live recent events. Yeah, I don't see... A donation event? I... Do see? Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't show me the super chats through Streamlabs. So, if it was a super chat, the way super chats, guys, um, those go into a a pool that YouTube holds onto, and until it totals up to a hundred dollars, um, I don't see it. Uh, so, if you use the super chat option, no no fears, it will get here. It's just I won't be able to re see it or. Uh, you know, put hands on it until it's been there up to a total combined of 100. Now, that does include the um, sponsors we have and the sponsors that are putting money into the chat. And that's actually, let me see one second here. That looks like that is like 28 and some change, it looks like. Uh, where did that... Okay, that's what happened with my donation goal because I got two accounts, as you guys are aware. And one is for Unshelled. And the other one is for this channel. I, I messed with the donation goal on the wrong channel. So let me go ahead and get that because I was like, why isn't this not working? And it's because I'm, I'm silly is what that is. All right. And we actually hit our last goal, guys, for that power ethernet adapter. So we'll be picking that up. Just popped in, most likely on later to watch. Okay, well, cool, Raph. Uh, thanks for popping in, man, and sticking around. Really appreciate that. All right, and this will actually work now and reflect stuff. And we can just delete that because it's no longer in the goals there. All right. All right, so now we got everything readjusted and good to go. Okay, so um, as many of you that may have seen the Ragnarok face know, we have what's called, uh, by Giggity, one of the guys that are on the server, the ridiculously oversized treehouse. And the thing about the ridiculously oversized treehouse is we don't have the space for the ridiculous amount of dinos we have. Now, some of the dinos, obviously, they're going to be free range, like the you know, the brontosaurus. He, he probably is not going to want to go anywhere if he can help it. Yes, Digret? 
All right. Heh. There you go. And there's Digret and her avatar, guys. It was super chat. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that being the case, um, I'm not going to see it um, any time uh, for a little bit. I actually checked the, the YouTube coffer, as it were, and it just hit, like, $92 for the month of... Um, June. They're tunneling up July now, so I'm pretty sure it'll get in there if it was in July. And this is the flight suit. Guys, I love this thing. I wish I could get this on our vanilla playthrough. And unfortunately, vanilla playthrough is vanilla, and so it doesn't include aberration or anything else, so... Alright. But yeah, guys, it, you know... And that's just the way YouTube handles their super chat. And I can understand that because no one wants to write a check for the amount of money that YouTube would have to write for for some of these channels that don't always get a, a donation each month because they do have to make a, a statement to you, right? And we'll just leave that there. That's okay. Alrighty, so. And we are using a. We are using another streamer's uh, little way about doing this. And it's actually rather cool base design. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the size capacity to build what they're building. Not realistically. Not realistically. So we are actually working on their design. And again, it's, it's Aaron Longstaff. The guy's got a really awesome channel. Um, he doesn't say anything on his channels, and the reason why he says that nothing on his channels is because he just likes to show people how to do. Why don't I play PvP? Marlin, because I have a life. Um, I have a life, I have a job, I have a wife, I have a social calendar, I have a lot of things that I simply don't want to come onto the server um, and have the last three or four weeks of gameplay that I play just totally wiped out. And I... Right now, I'm able to play quite a bit, but I have, like, training coming up and vacation time coming up and a lot of other things, and there's a very strong possibility that it'll be, like, a week or two weeks before I come back on. And since I'm a solo player, for the most part, um, you know, I play with Digrat and whatnot, but because of that, it's just not going to be fun for me to log in and just have to redo everything from the ground up. So that's the reason why Marlon and I don't play PvP. I, uh... I don't need to prove myself to anybody but myself. And I, as far as I'm considered, I've proved a lot to myself already in my life. All right. So I... Here, where is the Dodicarus? All right. And actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and put some there. And put some berries in here. Let's pull these down. Um... Just pull 20 off of Mrs. Peacock. She doesn't need all 100 of that. Alright, so where are we, Tina? In the grand scheme of things, we are caught. PvP is only good if you have a huge tribe. Yeah, a huge tribe and a lot of time, Anthony. Um, and I've done some PvP games in the past, and they're fun, don't get me wrong. Uh, I've thought about doing, like, single PvP base raids. That, that's, you know, that kind of interests me. But that would be one of those things that it's way down the line and and nowhere near like today <laughs> or tomorrow or possibly next month. But that all depends. That all depends. All right. Okay. Oh, we just ran out of stamina. Sad. Okay, let's... Grab his stuff, grab over there, crafting, ceiling tile, because we miscounted. My ability to math is just bad today, apparently. Actually, it's not even math. My ability to just count outright has just been bad, apparently. See there, I, I, I thought I had math, and math was not on my side. Math has abandoned me today. Damn. 
But you know, as far as PvP goes, you know, play versus player games in general, um, they're fun. They're they're not bad. I I played four hours of Fortnite on Monday. It was okay. It, you know, I had a good time playing with the guys I was playing with. That's 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 really where I shine is just having fun with friends. All right, let's go park Tina over here with uh, the craft dinos. And where is White Bottom at? Did a PvP server by yourself and about 15 games and just my base mail stone and, and the top tried rated you? That uh, that'll do it, man. You know, that'll do it, you man. If you if you don't uh, respect the fact that there's other people out there, it it will get your base ruined. Um, hey, that's got a lot of levels up. I, we still got to figure out what we're gonna do with this Pariser. And, you know, and it seems like it'd be kind of fun. I mean. But there are some concerns, like, um, apparently, you know, this is a whitelist server, and we had someone join the Ark somehow, and we're not sure exactly how that happened. It is somewhat concerning. All right, so let's get back to where we were on this how-to. All right. Because we got all the ceiling tiles, and just to give you guys an idea of how massive this thing is, and I, I've trimmed it out a bit. I mean, it's basically the same build that we have on our solo game, size-wise, but it's just a little bit bigger. All right, and we insured all that. We did all that. Okay, now what do we got to do? Now we have to... Are you kidding me? It looks like i got to put thatch ceilings... All around this thing. Sure is. Okay. Well, wow. all right, good, cool, man. Uh, keyboard does not help out. Oh well, man. It, you know. You know, keyboards. Uh, they can be loud. They definitely can. I, I've got a mechanical, and I love my mechanical. I uh, I will. I will hurt somebody if they come after my mechanical. It, it's, you know, it's it's a nice little Black Widow. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I I went searching for so many things for it. I used to have an old Dell mechanical. And when my newest computer stopped having PS2 ports on it, I was so sad. That's my Featherlight, guys. This thing only was like uh, 300 obsidian in the auction house, which was super awesome. So, a metric ton of stone, wooden fiber. Uh, thatch was a, a big choke point two gig. But, yeah, all those. All those. But, mostly the... I'm um, dehydrated. Well, let's fix that. Alright, so I need to grab some thatch ceilings out of this. Let's see, where is our... And this is... Part of this is because I was stupid and did not set all of our dinos up. And I, uh, unfortunately, one of our dinos is dead. I'm starving. Wow. Thirsty and starvy. Okay. So let's see what other of the three dwarves we can find, right? All right. And... Okay, so we got that. All right, so now go over here. Fire this baby up. Aberration DLC still can't get the Ingrams for the glider. Well, you have to be in Aberration, Giggity. You you have to go to the actual Aberration server to be able to get the, the Ingrams. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to actually... Um, go up to one of these terminals and then say travel to another server and it's going to show you our our, 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 our joint server which is Clarence and Secret Underground yep and then once you're there you can actually use the uh, 
you can actually use the uh, the Ingram and learn them there, and then come back. But here's the here's the big kicker, though, Giggity. When you get on the aberration, you're gonna have to get back somehow. So you're gonna have to be able to get to a drop. Or what I really recommend is building another terminal <laughs> and taking it with you at aberration, because otherwise you're gonna be marooned there for a while, man. All right, so, oh, and so it begins. Here's a really cool little dodo. It's like a peach with, uh, like, a white top. Uh, and it's one digrat. She just found it, thought it was cute looking. Oh, it's, and so it begins. And here is Drake Mallard and Abigail Mallard. These things are not very easy to tame. They require way too much stuff, but... Eventually, we're going to have a little duck pond over here so they can go and kill all the fish to their heart's content. Did I manage it? Oh, oh, almost. All right. Or bring the terminal with you as your base is near. Yes, that would work too, Giggity. Since you're near the blue pillar, that would work. All right. And we're not exactly over encumbered. Sweet. Speaking of bringing a terminal with me, grab that thing. Hey, Soul Games, how's it going, man? Glad to see you popping in today. Did you tell about Project Argentavius, the IRL glider? Yes, you told me about that. I'm uh, I'm concerned, Giggity. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Giggity in our community, he's actually uh, kind of got one of the mad scientist titles that we have. And he continually is always inventing cool stuff, but no, no offense to Gig, but occasionally the cool stuff doesn't quite operate as intended. And, and with that in mind, Gig, I I am slightly concerned about you trying to build something that you're going to try to fly with. Um, it's not the best idea to build one. All you have is wood and metal wires. Yeah, you definitely need some kind of, like, tarp system. Boy, we're getting a little bit of lag. That was... What am I doing? So, we are building a dino pen. A place to store all of our dinosaurs. The last time we were on, people kept asking to see our base. They kept seeing to see us do a base build. We were getting just random people popping in, wanting to know what was going on. And so, you know, we, we try to make sure people get the uh, the full experience of Ark here. The lag might have been you joining. Uh, I don't know. I, I thought I already saw the... Oh, I didn't want to craft one. Interesting that I could craft one, but I didn't want to. Why craft when I can just place this thing? Arc data, grab another 25. Turn that off, pick it up. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to do, guys. One second here. Let me grab Aaron's design. And throw that in the description in the chat room. Because what we are building is just a, a modified version of that. And it's and it's a it's a humdinger, guys. It's a doozy. This thing is going to require um, a lot of my sanity to build. All right. A small bird's eye view there. All right, let's see here. Nope. Okay, we're definitely not gonna get up that way. All right. So, but we are. We've got what we got there. And so we're we're building something similar, but we're gonna be building where the behemoth gates are supposed to be on this toward the front. Uh, they're supposed to be like 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to be a little bit on the cramped on the ends, and it's not going to be as deep. It's going to be half as deep and just a sliver, not as wide. Uh, but we'll be able to store most of our dinos in here that we're concerned about. And we'll be able to, to take them out and do stuff here. Uh, so I, I'm really looking forward to getting it finished. So now we got the, uh, the biscuit pieces finished. What I'm calling the biscuit pieces. Select the stone wall. So now we're at the stone wall portion. Select the thatch roof snap point. Okay, and that's always important with this guy's build stuff. And then flip the wall to face outward. Okay. And I know the reason why he's doing that is so the actual... All right, that's so he... That, all right, that is definitely because he is very aesthetically pleasing with his builds. And what he wants is he doesn't want these to be visible. So that's why he's doing this really weird, crazy build kind of stuff. And I get it. I, I, I usually build for function. I, I don't build for form. But I, I got to admit, I really do like it when stuff looks a lot nicer than what I've been able to build it to. So, And this kind of stuff can be shoved in tribute now. Turn that off. You're planning on building a version of, uh, yeah, big for growing crops and storage. You know, that's uh, not, not a bad idea, Gig. Uh, I plan to modify this a little bit to where the top of it's going to be all greenhouse. So we can get our greenhouse away from where it was. All right, so we're going to drop this down, like he said. We're going to snap it. All right, so we're going to snap it there. We're going to flip it outward. Uh, flip. Okay. I'm not sure where I'm at. I'm going to have to re reset it. Okay. So that looks like it's it's on the thatch. So now we're going to bring it down. I'm pretty sure, yeah, select another stone wall. And place it on the fence foundation. Okay. I am very confused, Aaron. Because that does not look like your usual really nice looking stuff. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Wow. Oh, right. well... What do you know, though? We, we have this so tall. Okay, so there. And then we're going to go down here. That's going to be on that side, right? Okay. And then it says to do this basically around the whole entire build. So, yuck. But it is what it is. All right. So we're going to go here. And uh, come on. All right. So we do that. We do that. And then we come down here. And we do that. And that's why we got one full stone. And the reason why he's doing this is because it is a uneven. I mean, look at the terrain, guys. Look at this. This is like going on an arc-sized roller coaster. Yay! And it's wavy, it's uppy, it's downy, and it's all aroundy. And in some cases, this is like three pillars tall down here. And at the shortest, it's just one pillar tall. So we're doing this so this thing looks nice from the back end. Why why does that not look like what he told me to make it look like? Oh, because that's all is that all attached to the thatch? Okay, now I'm super confused.
that snapped onto the thatch. Okay. Well, um, at some point, I know he's going to tell me that I need to take off these, these thatch ceilings. So let's do that real quick. Okay, that was, that was very anticlimactic. So I'm okay with that. All right, so I'm... I'm, I'm presuming that I got it the right way it needs to be. And it's just going to... Alright. And that's the one thing about arc, guys. I've put in way too many hours, too many hours in this game. Uh, it's because it's such a fun game, though. It's, it's a challenging game. It's a creative game. And you wind up seeing all sorts of manner of stuff. Because everybody builds stuff differently. And so it's it's almost like a artistic way of looking at stuff. Grab a random rock here. I've been kind of coming in here also and grabbing the thatch uh modifying designs to make them look insane uh you know making them look neat is kind of neat but you don't have to right i mean my my single player oh that's a there's giggity That is the secret that we have that Aaron doesn't have. Is we have a uh, a demo gun from the S Plus stuff, but we want to make sure that we're building this right where it needs to go. All righty, gig, no worries, man. Though uh, we we may have to stop calling your computer potato because when you said that potato was getting fried, I got a little concerned. Um. We, 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 I, I will, I will dig right, one second, and I'll go over real quick to that, because it's, uh, I think it's pretty awesome, because guys, we, we do have a, a non-family friendly streamer that we actually like to watch the content of, named Epic Potato Chip, and dig rat, you know, she's still learning a lot about art, I think she's got maybe a hundred hours in the game, maybe, maybe a smidgen over that, but no more, I would think. And she's so she's been branching out of her zone of things are uh, going to oh going to go level up soon for the glider. All right, all right, cool, uh, cool gig. No worries, man. But she she's been kind of branching out of her comfort zone and, and taming stuff. Like here's Big Blue, and she saw the Spino, and she was like. It was here. It was in our base area. Uh, and it was wrecking stuff. And there was no fish anywhere could be seen. It's because this guy ventured in here and was just tearing through all the way over basically where I'm building the uh, the safe area for the dinos. Um, foundations down there will help keep that safe. But So she, she shot this guy and, and stunned him and knocked him unconscious. And she's like, what does a spino eat? And I'm like, uh, what? It was during Monday Night Mail. And she's like, I got one unconscious. I'm like, well, feed it fish. She's like, okay. And she's like, oh, by the way, I tamed a packy. Have you ever seen one? I'm like, yeah, I just never tamed one. And I got to find out where these guys are. Here they are. And so she named it Epic Potato because she tamed it with potatoes. And she knew about Epic Potato Chip. So Potato now has a dinosaur named on our server. And we have Super Fry. So when he said Potato is getting fried, I was like, wait a second. Uh, how you got Dr. Cell. What? I'm not sure what Dr. Cell you're talking about. Um, I'll have to, uh, ha wait for Giggity to, to type in the explanation for what he's talking about there. I'll call the Spino Cell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gig, uh, that, that one was because... She just tore after it, and she didn't know 
what all she needed to do for it, except for shoot it until it stopped moving. And it got stuck on the rock over there for a bit, but it actually knocked her off. It was quite the, uh, quite the challenge to get it down and everything. Spinos usually are. All right. Okay, and there we go. And then we want to make sure that we're on the snap point for the for the fence foundation. Which doesn't look like it. That looks like it. Alright, there we go. Well, that doesn't look right though. Okay. Stone wall, stone wall. These aren't S plus, right? Yeah, they're not S plus. I didn't grab any by accident that were. Weird. Okay. How do you have negative one likes? Um, YouTube must be being weird. That that's all I can figure. Um, YouTube does weird, strange stuff, man. Okay. There we go. All right, so Boy, and the sound is really odd over here. I mean to tell you, this waterfall had some issue. You like it and it says zero likes. That's... Maybe YouTube's going to a, a balanced like system? I don't know. I can pull up real quick. Let's see here. Creator Studio. Let's see exactly what it says we got for our likes. Really? YouTube, you're going to do like that? Okay, so yeah, YouTube's definitely got some sort of weird upgrade thing going on with their system. Yeah, mine actually doesn't show that. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually showing five likes, which is way awesome. Um, you know, there's actually a, a big thing going around YouTube right now. People that are content creators that are kind of been taking YouTube to task lately about their system. I, you know, I, I do this for fun. All right, let's see here. We got 33 more walls. We're not walking like crab dude. So restart the stream. Yeah, five, five likes. Okay. Um, one second, guys. I got a, a digret asking questions. And oh yeah, that'd be really good, Digret. Um, no, I think my I'm good for that. Yeah, I'm good for that. All right, let's see here. What's going on? Did, so I got that. That was good to start with. Uh, no, Cold would be fine, Digret. So where did I get off on my lineup? Because I can see, see how this is lined up, and it's like I can see the fence foundation. And I've built uh, a few of Aaron's things, so yeah. If I don't see the fence foundation, it's bad. So I need to get that. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, Giggity, that's that's pretty right spot on, man. Every basic material is what we need. So if if you're if you're wanting to just gather stuff for the fun of gathering, man, uh, we would not have any issue. That is so weird. It's I'm sure I'm maybe I don't have it right up there.
This is the one thing, man. It's, it's like uh, it's like building stuff when you actually take it out of the box, right? It never looks exactly like the picture. But on these kind of builds, if you don't build it just right, like that one, I should see wood. Speaking of things I should see, torch. Let's see if I can pull for a torch. Yeah, sweet. Because if I'm going to be doing inspection work in here, I need to definitely... Alright, so... So I can tell that that's not placed right, because I don't see wood. On these ones, I see wood. That one's not placed right. I see wood on that, though. So I feel that that's just so weird looking, because it doesn't line up right. All right, take care, Anthony. Thanks for checking out with us, man. Appreciate you. So that, that is, that is, I don't know what that is, guys. That, that is so weird. And, you know, when we built the treehouse, and, and again, I, I am nowhere near the master craftsman that Aaron is. I, I. I admit that. I admit that 100%. But there were a few spots where his instructions, as good as they were, we uh, we went in circles. So, and I'm I'm uh, I'm willing to bet this is another one of those that I'm not really going to get exactly like the ten. gun away. Okay. Let's do this without as many messes that we have. Alright. Oh, you shouldn't damage the gates, Giggity. We have friendly fire turned off on the server. Yeah, that, that's, that's there. So let me, let me go back and take a look at what Longstaff's video does right here. Okay, place it on the fence foundation. Okay. Huh. Hey, Dark Star, how's it going, buddy? So it looks like I've got this whole entire bottom row wrong. So we need to... Can we build a standing torch? Do I know a standing torch? I, I did a... Anytime I build a build like this, I take a... A leth elixir, uh, what do you want to call it? A mindwap tonic, so I can get there. Hey, new salute! Good to see you, new. Good to see you too, Dark Star. If you guys don't know who New is, New is actually very awesome. Um, speaks very little English, but still checks us out and and watches our stuff. So we we. We, uh, we feel really good about that. I'm doing good, Dark Star. I'm doing really good. Uh, we're building a... Well, that that's back there. So maybe I don't have this positioned right? I hate to think that's what I got going on. Hello, RFG. How are you today? Relaxing, funny gaming. All right, so let's... Uh this were bowling, we'd be resetting the pins right now. Oh, appreciate it, Gig. Appreciate it. Alright, so... I think what's going on is I actually put these walls on wrong? I... I, I don't know if that's what it is? Alright, here's some random stuff we just grabbed off the ground. We can put that back. And the second gun we definitely don't need. Alright, so let's put the gun out. And start picking it up. Good night, Digret. Love you too. 
right. Because, yeah, maybe those are... I mean, they look like they're snapped to the... The thatch, but... Could be wrong. All right. Okay. And no, that's not the button we want. Now, here's the button we want. All right, so we need to... All right, so... All right, so that looks like it's snapped to the thatch. Because that's stone and that's thatch, right? I mean... So that's stone. That's, that's the thatch. That's clearly the thatch wall bit. Okay, so... Hmm. Alright, that, that just... And, and the big problem... That, that I have with this base build right now. Other than the fact that it doesn't seem to be working anywhere near the, the way their video worked. Is... I know this is going to be part of the structure. And there should be like a gap. Like a, a, a noticeable, sizable gap. But I'm not seeing it. But I can tell because I can see the wood down there that it's got to be correct. So... All right, we'll uh, we'll soldier on, guys. Well, what is what was what what's with what's with that? How is how is that even building somewhere? There's a stone foundation here. Okay, that could. That, that's weird. Okay. I must have missed one when I picked them up. I, I've had to stake this out like three or four times, guys, before I got it built. Okay. Well, let's try the back side. Maybe the back side will build a little bit um, less crazy-like. Okay, so that is the thatch. We flip it. All right, and then, see, this side builds fine. This has got the gap that I'm expecting. Yeah, gig, that's cool, man. Uh, you can use the uh, terminal in the, the tribute tab also, by the way. All right, so. Whoops. Whoops, double whoops. Wait. No, just single lips. Okay, single lips. We can deal with single lips. Alright. Okay. So that... That's clearly the outside wall. And that's... Okay, that's the internal. Right? Oh, son of a biscuit. It's not. Okay. See, we can see the fence foundation on, on this one. But not on that one. So there, there's a there's a problem with this. Yeah, that's not going back like it should. Huh. Wrong button. Come on, Mag. Looks like it's fine. That's a that's a gap too. I don't see the gap here because these are the, on the foundation lines. All right, so all right, so that's definitely on the the, the fence foundation. All right, so we'll, we'll leave that be for right now because that's making me scratch my head a lot more than I want it to. 
All right, so all right, pull that forward, we flip that. So this part we got, this part we got just fine. All right. I'm encumbered. Of course I am, but it's not as bad as it looks like. And all right. Okay, appreciate that, Giggity. All right, and so that that builds just right because we can see this. All right, so. go there we go and then that's there and again we should see like a wooden line so that's all building right that was starting to build right I don't know. Maybe it's... I mean, clearly these aren't lined up. You can tell. Because they're, they would have... They'd be more against each other for their seams. So there's there's definitely a problem here. I really don't want to destroy this foundation line. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that looks right. So, I mean, what's going on? Because these should be, like, real even, like. All right, I, I'm, I'm going for it, guys. Okay. Right, so there, there's definitely something wrong here. Um, so let's remove those two. All right. All right. So let's try to put that there. Okay. So let's take out this thatched piece. So it wants, to, it wants to snap that to that line. All right, no, we don't want the gun. We don't want the gun. The gun's bad. Hey, Triangle, how's it going, buddy? All right, so we'll take that away. We'll low-key do that. There we go. All right, and... Oh, it looks like we got a flash flood warning that just happened here in Turtle House, guys. So... Uh, there is a possibility because the internet is just, they haven't figured out how to make it good in this world. And you can see I'm getting some lag on the server again. And there's just two people on the server. Um, so there is a chance that we might lose internet because that's just the way technology works. All right. So we, we've restored a few things here. So let's, let's, uh... I really don't want to have to do that for, like, all these fence foundations that I may have misplaced. But that's the reason why you should measure twice and cut once, right? Look at there, guys. Look at there. I... I so... So yuck. All right, so something happened to, like, seriously offset those. All right, so, well, it's, it, on, the, on the bright side, right, this is the back of the base build, so it's not that horrible. The only people that are going to know about it are, like, me and you and uh, everybody else that watches this video eventually. Okay. 
Wow. Is that for real cereal? I mean... I don't even know how one would, like, gap it that bad. Well, that's a sign of failure. Okay. Okay, so there is, there is a ceiling tile. Okay, one, two. All right. So... Huh. So what's going on? Oh, I know exactly what's going on. Oh. Okay. Well. It's not. Okay, so apparently, one thing I was not aware of, and now I'm abundantly aware of, is that when you put down these foundation tiles... They have a direction they face. And the direction they face is determined upon which direction you are facing when you actually place them. And Aaron in his video said, make sure you are facing the right direction and line it up with the wall and do all this really good stuff. Otherwise, you're going to hate yourself later in the, in, in the build. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So... What we have to do here is, I think, because of where I'm at here, that I'm fine. I think all this builds right. Everything looks good. These are clearly snapping to the fence foundation and doing what they need to do. Um, these are all totally backwards. So I'm going to have to like take down this whole entire back wall to a point I may have like gotten lazy and then and restarted so let, let's let's go over here um, let's let's go ahead and build what we need really what we need thanks you all right um, here we go no you guys saw that that just jumped like that okay And then all right so uh, yeah we we did not build like any of this back row right except for like none of it okay so we're done building on the back wall for right now <laughs> because we didn't do it right let's see if we can build the side wall over here and then we'll build the other side wall and then we'll play uh, this is why you should always measure twice and cut once and I'm really kind of concerned. I mean, I know these lined up right. And those are gapped. I don't know why. I think Aaron comes back through here with pillars after the fact. As a decorative thing. So I think that's what's going to happen. All right. So. Um, line up. Flip place and then place good so at least it works here and it all looks right on this side because I can tell it's not the foundation So that all looks spiffy. These are actually snapped to the stone fence foundations. If I were to break the uh, the fence foundation, this wall should shatter.
for science. Um, sometimes you got to break a few things for science, guys. All right, so... And that actually placed right back where it needed to go. All right, and... Okay. Looks right, but we're not seeing the handy dandy. That did not snap right, so. Okay, and now we know for a fact we got that one placed backwards because of the uh, the science we figured out, right? So we were facing this direction, so we need to actually put it on this way. Now I'm willing to bet that's what's causing all the headache. And I, I hope it's just the direction I'm facing and not how it snapped. So it's just directional. All right, so it's just directional. So the next thing we got to do... Oh, all right. Sweet biscuits, guys. So we got... We actually have this... This placed the right way. Okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. That's the way it's supposed to look, and this is the way it's supposed to be, so things can't go up and in, my understanding. And see, we can tell they're all placing right because we can see the wooden slats. All right, so partial crisis averted. All right. Um, Now, don't think in this case we're going to have to put it to the foundation on that one. Did we? We, we did. Okay. So in some cases where it's way too tall, we're gonna we're gonna be able just to put it down like that. It's only if we need to like to gap it, I guess. Oh man, that looks kind of gross though. All right, so on on the side of aesthetics, no, we don't want demo mode. We want. We want friendly mode, and we want to take this wall off. Okay. Because this is supposed to be aesthetically pleasing. We want to make sure that we see the... We are actually seeing the stone foundation whenever we can. So if we got to place more than one piece... The second piece needs to go there. So it needs to, we need to be able to see this wood at all, at all spots. All right. Even though it gets really weird, like, seriously, really weird. That doesn't look like it actually made it on the foundation. What? What? Okay, that's, that's a bad spot. We're going to fix that. All right, so in this case, wow. So 
So we have to have two there for everything to look right. Huh. I'm not sure I care for that. But I don't remember Aaron Longstaff asking me directly if I cared. I mean, it's because of that gap. Oh, okay. Let's, let's, let's consult the tape, guys. One second. And while we're watching this, we're going to chow on some of this awesome pizza Dick Red made us. Okay, and that really uh, didn't help much, but we did get to see what he basically did. And he basically went around the whole build first on the top. And then mess with the bottom. So let's do that then. We know we got the top right if we got this word gap here, because we're, we're supposed to be attaching this to the thatch. Alright, so we're out of stone walls. We are at the halfway point on the bottom floor, so I think we're going to fill in the bottom. And grab those out of tribute. Half them. Still over encumbered, but not super over encumbered. Okay. Hey, Zyland, how's it going, man? We're building dino storage. The the template we're using is linked in the video, and it's another one of these awesome Aaron Longstaff creations. Though, because of space reasons, uh, we have modified it ever so slightly. Oh, problem. Okay. Yep, we know exactly what this problem is right here because we've run into it a few times already. It is that we placed this wrong during the initial bid. All right, so the initial build... We gaffed it. So we got to pull out our gun. We got to pull this. In this case, we have to, because of all the stuff we gift with. Uh, yes, it's part of S plus, Xylan. It is what is known as the demo gun. And it is built for those times that you basically have goofed it allows you to pick up the materials that you've used alright let's see here and that yeah that will make a real good fit there okay uh, nah as I, my understanding is there's no mods for Xbox uh, which is the way Microsoft wanted it. 
they don't like the fact that people can modify game code. And so they pretty much choose to let nobody do that. Number one. Number two, because Xboxes do what's called a, a load time... Um, a load time setup, they have to know what kind of actual resources the game's going to require. And the only way they can really do that realistically is they have to know exactly everything that the game's going to require. Okay, I think that's right. Yep. Except for that part where it just flipped because why not? There we go. All right, and then we can lay that down. Okay. What was Giggity saying here? Um, uh, yeah, Gig. For for now, that should be good. That should be good. And you know, it is unfortunate that that Microsoft went that route with it. There, you know, but they do have their own designs to implement. So far, we're looking good here. I, I, I thought we were looking good, but it looks like we're not. I can't even stand me sometimes, guys. Okay, so that is actually attached. Okay, that is... All right, that's on the foundation. That's definitely on the foundation. Okay. Okay. And that is for certain on the foundation. All right. And we have a gap here. Ah, uh, yuck. Why did you do that? Game. What is going on? All right, so... There we go. All right, because of that, because of that, that horizontal gap... We want to make sure it's got all the, the gaps filled in, right? All right, so that's the halfway point on the front side. And we noticed that we had some place there. Curse you, rapid unplane disassembly. Yeah, absolutely, giggity. All right, so that's built there, that's built there. And now we we're going to go back here. that there okay so that that's in the right spot we do see the well, we don't see the wood okay. oh we flipped it ah okay no worries Island we'll be here man And that's the wrong direction. So we're going to have to do the same thing for this one that we did for the other one. As often as we're doing this, we should probably, like... No, we didn't want to build one. I mean, it's fine that we did. We just didn't have a need to build one. Alright. There we go. That actually build right this time. Yes. Okay. Absolutely good on that. All right. And slowly but surely, we are going to get there, guys. 
bears are fine due to the sheer amount of... Yes, yes. That is, that is not untrue, Giggity. We, we have... We are, we are basically the Arby's in this situation. That's going to place wrong. So I already know. So we'll just pull out our gun. Remove that, remove that. And then this is a corner, so we have to remove that one, that one, this one. And then that one. No. It's not the direction we were when we clicked on the button. Still not the direct. Oh my gosh, guys. Stay. Please. Let's just use that for that slot because we don't really need to care about that slot. So let's go take, we got to take these down still because we have to then put the gun down, put that there, and then these get pushed there. All right. And now we can put stone ceiling. Excellent. All right. And then... That's because of this gap here. Oh, wait a second. Don't we have... We're doubled up there. Now we got a full seal on this corner. Everything looks right. All right. Yeah, snap a wall to a fence, Mag. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's what we're doing, Eric. We're uh, it's it's a complicated build. And that one looks fine, though. I think we're okay there. Why are you making this time a dino pin? Uh, it's the video that we're using for the template is in the description, Eric. And it's so we can store all these all these dinos. All right, did that one snap right? Nope, it didn't. Because um, now we have this really horrible, horrible thing. So let's. Okay, so that's, yep, sure enough. Uh, so while we were doing the initial build, uh, Eric, we, uh, we, we did the, I'm gonna regret this possibly. Woohoo! All right. This wall that's suspended is actually suspended by this thatch foundation. The, I, I have no earthly clue yeah 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 let's see here arc physics yes arc physics um, no wrong dem no 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 demo mode no demo mode okay I I'm used to like yeah I need to get off the gun for a second Alright, let's see here now. Well, I said that, but I gotta pick up this piece here. Come on, come back. Alright. So while I was while I was trying to build this initial loadout, I, I laid some fan, fence foundations backwards. 
And one would think that laying a Vince Foundation backwards wouldn't be a problem. But one would be wrong. Uh, wrong. Alright, here we go. And so we need to... Okay, we're trying to... There. Alright. Getting sleepy goodnight. That's alright, man. Don't worry, Zylan. It's all good, dude. It's all good. We're just we just are appreciative when our actual subscriber friends can come over here. Let's see, all right, that's still where we want it to be. Awesome. Okay, now we need that button to put that thatch foundation back. Q. And down here, we need to snap that one to the fence foundation. Right. So now we no longer have the gap here. I don't know why we have a gap there. Yeah, yeah. Now you're unsure exactly, exactly. And we're we uh we're pretty deep into the build a little bit. Um, all these ceiling tiles are possibly going to have to be removed and replaced and removed and replaced. We had to manually come through and redo these, and we're like, oh dear God. And I'm like, maybe it's not as bad on the other side of the build and. It's been it's been hit or miss on the other side of the build because of where it's like you know down in here and all this. So I'm I'm hoping once we get out of like this part of the build, it won't be making me want to cry. Like that one, we're gonna have to redo that one too. So take that down, take that down, take this down, take that down. The problem you're having now is the snap point of the ceiling is on the outside, causing it to hang out and leave that gap. And that's actually by design, Eric. Um, from from the way they said it, in, and I, I'm still skeptical, uh, but apparently for either the aesthetics of it or the build for it or something, It's got to have that, so I'm I'm willing to give the benefit of doubt. I mean, I've I've seen quite a few of Aaron Longstaff's videos, and they do really good good build work. Um, no, it's not the Fence Foundation. Just leave a like. All right, cool. Uh, really appreciate RFG. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for popping in. And GTE, guys, Galactic Entertainment, they do a lot of really cool uh, gaming, um, if I remember right. It's been a while since I've been able to catch any of their stuff. Uh, all right, so, all right okay. so we got it. We got to attach to the thatch, flip, and then drop. And down here, we have to attach to the fence foundation, which apparently we're doing. Oh, shells, but okay. Yep, that's another one we gotta redo. What's really bad is the ones that we gotta redo. We don't even know if we gotta redo them until we d redo them. Find random bags everywhere, carrying all of the. Oh, okay, gig. Okay. I'm. Laziness. Yay! Let's hear it for laziness, guys. Laziness uh, won a little bit today. All right, so. I'm hoping that's considered like anchored because I never have to do all three of these different. No, wrong button again. Wrong button again. Boom. All right. Click that out. Click this out. Oh, wait. We still need this. Okay. So, bam. Bam. Where's my weight at? Ah, not too bad. All right, so I know if I'm facing this direction, it's right. All right, so now I uh, wrong button. 
this button for these. All right, so now that. there, that there, that there, and when we get back behind it, we should see the wood panel. Good. And now, because of this gap here, we snap them to the front. Awesome. And now we just pray that we don't have to do un undo all that on this side. Is that going to give us... Come on. A oh, beautiful, beautiful. Wait, is that not a? That one's. That one's. Just fast forward through that build. Yeah, yeah. The tree was more. Yeah, this is massive. This is definitely massive. And we're we're editing a little bit. Like theirs is 19 by 26. Ours is 9 by 24, because we just don't have the space. I mean, and we, we need some space for some storage, you know, for some dinos and stuff. And, like, I think, like, you know, some parasers will fit up here, and a brontosaurus, and a few other things. But it ain't going to be as big as it is, but, oh my gosh. So, right here, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But somewhere we got ungapped, like, really badly ungapped. Like, these are off-center on these pillars. I I don't even... I... Like, these are supposed to be like that. It's up to the pillar. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. So... So, yeah, this this snapped... Well, the, the wooden crossbeam... Is it the direction that I was facing when I snapped it? Because everything else is right. I mean, all the wooden stuff lines up just perfect. Over here, we got some misalignment. Yeah, the off-center or the right, and the one that's true is wrong. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to have to redo this whole entire piece in here. Hey, Bacadoo, how's it going? All right. So, son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit, guys. All right, so we are going to have to, these ceiling tiles, we place them all sorts of wrong. Everything else looks like it's fine. And we just got to remember... Man, don't you love building or getting your Lego wand? Oh, yeah, man. Absolutely. Getting my Lego wand is, is awesome. I love it. I love it. But uh, I, I'm not the, uh, the I'm not a master builder by any stretch of the imagination. But I tell you what. I know what I'm invested. So let's... Uh, Oh, that's all right. That's all right. That can do no worries. Okay, so. All right, so now that's building right. Ain't that, ain't that something? And all that mistake cost us was one tie. Oh. I... Alright. 
It's, uh... Alright, let's see here. Yeah, that's right, this gap. We want up... We want up being so tricked by that, we want up destroying our own tile. I think that... Man, I wonder if I should... Man, I really like the, uh, the bottom spacing in here. I, I feel like for this, I should be like placing the, the wall there. I think I should go up like up on this side. I think that's the way I'm gonna do it. Okay. All right, I can fix that, right? I can fix that. Let's uh, first get rid of this one and that one. And this one. Oh, Turtle Club. That, that was... Uh, Failure there was just way too epic. Way too epic. Okay. Way too epic. Oh my gosh. All right. So this this gap here is is really harshing on me. Let's see here. Because that means I got it snapped in the wrong spot. All right. Let's see any other gaps. I don't see any other gaps. Whack. Okay. That fat shilling has turned wrong. Yeah, um, it's it's uh, there's a lot of some things here. I I think what happened. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I must have like faced it a different direction or something. And now it's like, I'm not sure if that's even good. I mean, look, did these all snap to the pillar maybe? I mean, I, I don't know. Like I see the, you know, the clear cut wood there. I'm not seeing it there. I, uh, There's an overlap, and I'm not sure why this overlap's being created. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, we're we're getting nowhere fast. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's try this once more with feeling on this wall for like the umpteenth time. Once again, that looks ugly. Hey, Freddy, how's it going, buddy? All right, now it's looking a little bit nicer. Um, no, we, we want you to attach to the thatch. All right, wait a second here. All right. There we go.
man. All right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it'll be done when you come back in a few days. Maybe you paint it. I, I don't really paint a lot. I uh, One of these days I should paint all my base stuff, I guess. Man. All right. All right, so that, that place right. All right, so that's placing correctly. All right. So I'm good with that. I'm good with that. If that placed right, and so there's a there is a chance, a very positive chance. At least you're, you paint your behemoth gates and storage boxes. Uh, yeah, we might do that for some accent stuff. Come on, attach. Attach to the thatch, please. Okay. There we go. And I know as soon as I'm like shortcutting this through and doing all these top ceiling pieces, I know that's just begging for mistakes to happen like that. All right. Uh, Giggity, when you tell it on the thing, it should show you the only servers that are available. So when you go turn on, and you say travel to another server, it says sessions on cluster, and it should be the only other server that's on there. You are encumbered, yes. And here is all the stone and the thatch and the wood to show your failures. All right. You'll be back soon. All right, Gig, we'll be here, man. No worries. Yeah, the more I think about it, the Eric's idea to paint the wall sounds really cool. Um, I like that. Do you watch anime? If you can, yes, can you name a few you watch? If not, maybe a few you know. I've watched a lot of anime, Freddy. Um, the the last one that I've watched that I really, really liked was Tiger and Bunny, as far as, like, indie anime goes. Um, so your My Hero Academia is one that I, I'm waiting for the whole season to finish. Oh, please, 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 for the love of Pete. All right. No love for Pete here. Okay. Wait, what's going on with this? Uh, that's that's a that's a weird wall. That's what that is. Yeah, yeah. My Hero Academia is pretty good. Um, of course, you know, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is is you know a, a top for a lot of people. All right. That, okay. That's actually I don't know what's going on with that. All right. Sounds like Red Dust figured it out. He just traveled over to the Aberration server, guys. Okay, so we're going to take this down. Take this. All right. And we're going to take all these down because we're going to have to redo all of this. Uh, Overlord. Uh, I've actually watched Overlord. It's not bad. It's in the very in the same thing. Okay, what just blew up there? Why did that blow up? Ah. I bet I'm gonna lose another piece. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we're gonna have to. And one more piece. Oh, lots more pieces. Oh, yuck. Okay, all right. So, 
That shortcut was definitely bad. Bad mag bad. Uh, so it's not bad, but you know, I uh, I felt like it was just way too familiar. It. I mean, if you think about it right, Overlord's got the same kind of premise that Sword Art Online has, that Dot Hack has, that a um, that just about like 50% of all the popular anime out there has started going into a virtual world where you're stuck and trapped. Uh, okay, cool. Everybody and their granddad's done that now. Maybe we can get something else. And right now, Freddy, uh, to answer your question, buddy, uh, we are building a dino storage pin for all of our excess dinos. We had a, we had a dino die, and it's because we we got lazy, and I'm using the royal we. I got lazy, and I did not reset a couple of the dinosaurs because I was too busy trying to tame a couple others. And because of my mistake of several of our dinosaurs that we enjoyed Digret and I uh, died because something came in and started killing stuff. Giggity, to the aberration thing, quickly getting back, um, no really good such thing until you have somewhere you can place down your teleporter. If you're, if you're lucky, um, you can get to my base and I think you can access my teleporter that's there. Or if you find a drop, that's about it though, man. So if you don't have a teleporter with you and you can't just place the teleporter down, you're going to need to find somewhere where you can get one. Um, there's a drop underneath the ramp that spawns every couple hours. Hey, there's more walls here. Good, we're going to need those. I thought I had another chest piece here, but I guess not. It's hide, actually. Hide chest piece. It was not Freddy who asked. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, McAdoo, your, your icons are very similar. Sorry about that. But yeah, uh, saw a giga not too far from your base. What? Which which base, McAdoo, and, and whereabouts? Because we may have to just stop what we're doing and go fix that. How much do you watch Orlord? Because I thought the same thing at the beginning. I watched all of it. Um, all the way through all that they had on whatever service I was using at the time. And so, yeah, it's it's way too, it's it's good, but it's, yeah, it's not great. The treehouse. Okay. A giga near the treehouse. Yeah, we're going to have to do something a lot about that. Oh, dear gosh. All right. Yeah, that, that, that can't stand. All right, guys. Um, I 
outside the gates to the left on the other side of where the crystals are. So that direction. He was in the trees. So right around there. Okay. So let's let's fill these sections in here. Gengas don't usually spawn over here. So that's 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 um yeah, all right. Yeah, scared the rat. Yeah, I, I, it would scare. Oh, well, it's it's got me nervous. Um, if he's over there, you can't get to a bed. Yeah, giggity, you won't be able to because you're not in a in a tribe. The tribes are server specific, man. Um. Yeah, uh, that's why I told you to make sure you had stuff. I, I'm sorry about that, dude. But you won't be in a tribe. You will be solo. So you want to spawn by the by the portal. And you want to head east. And you want to get to the... As soon as you get to the end there, you should be able to drop your portal and teleport out. Uh, Death Note's really good. I have no problem with Death Note. Okay, and so we got that, we got that. Let's um let's go and see Arc Giga Kibble. Yeah, it'll it'll be uh, you you're gonna that that's gonna be your best bet, Gig. Um because my portal's down over there. Quetzal kibble. Okay, I think we have some Quetzal kibble left, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, I gotta figure out what level that thing is. And we gotta go tame this guy. Alright. The Giga was not an immediate threat to you. No, it's not, but left alone, it will, it will become an issue. You left a like? Oh, thanks, Freddy. Appreciate it, man. But yeah, as far as uh, anime, yeah, different styles, different likes, dislikes, those things all play in. You guys killed something over here. I can tell. Because you're all acting like you ate something. Alright. Let me kick myself for not dropping my portal. All right. Let me go back. Let me get up to Ebony real quick. Where are you at, Ebony? You're usually up here somewhere. Ebony, find tribe dinos. Ebony. Why are you over there, Ebony? I, I got an idea of why you might be over there. But if you're over there, then that means... Did you not be over here? Oh, I know why. Because... Alright, alright. I, I know why he's there. Okay. So, let's get that. We 
you die, you really needed to plan this out better. Um, I, I, I tried, Gig. I, I'm sorry, man. Uh, why are you using those dinos as elevators? Because it's safer. Um, when we get this all said and done, whatever dinos other than a, uh, a Giga, obviously, uh, will be very hard-pressed to come after us. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Um, we got Geely on. I think that will help a little bit in the longer run. Okay, we got that. So we, now we need something for this thing to... Ebony, I know you want to go chomping at the bit. But settle down. Settle down, Eb. Set, oh, wait. That's the other thing we wanted to do. I know you want to come and just beat the snot out of this thing, guy. Or gal. But you're going to die in one hit if, if I die. Okay, so... Alright. Oh, and dub or sub, which is my preference. I prefer subtitled if I am watching privately. And I prefer dubs if I am watching at work. Okay, here's some kibbles. Argent, wait, Argents? Okay, Meister kibbles. All right, and we have some cake. Nothing really good there. All righty, so let's see. Kibble table. Can we pull? Is there any regular just Jane plain metal? No, there's not. Okay. We can go fix that though. Get on Roxy here. Roxy's got to level up. Okay, we can level up Roxy in the melee department. So we're going to need about 200 metal. All the items you have are lost, but you won't stop until you'll find the base. Uh, yeah, uh, the base is going to be your best bet, Gig. And again, it's... It's... It's, um... If you spawn in the portal area and go all the way to the east... It is near the rail car cave. If you have ever gotten the the artifact there, raptors, ravagers. Uh, shouldn't be any ravagers at the portal to start with. But all right, where are we at metal wise? We're at 55. We need. 210. Realistically speaking, there are a pack of five. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh, absolutely, Freddy. That would be more than that'd be more than enough money. Oh my God, dude. I uh. Yeah. If I got a thousand dollars per stream, that's way too much money. I mean, I, I figured it up to uh, the number of subscribers we would need one day to basically to basically equate what I would need for you know food, shelter, insurance, and all that. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad for the number of you know subscribers and sponsors and stuff. We're at 158 on the metal. Okay. Yeah, if there's a pack of five, it's probably.
probably gonna wreck my base too. Ravagers wrecked my base last time. Uh, tell me I need to stand up. Drop the unnecessaries here. Almost there. All right, let's see. I know there's this rock here that's got metal in it. climb up now giggity one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to rejoin this server because if you rejoin this server it will not rejoin with the current survivor you have it'll rejoin with the new one uh, that's that's gonna be my recommendation man uh, in a second I'm gonna pop over and see what I can do to help all right so we got we got all the stuff we need I got a dino I need to bring to Aberration with me anyways. Wow, there's just so much stuff on here. Let's 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 grab all that. And then just dump it all here. And then drop that there, drop that there. We're gonna need to get your stuff back for you too, man. Ah, uh, okay. And you're gonna need the the gemstones too, Giggity, to be able to craft the flight suit. What was I looking for in here? I know I was looking for something. All right, water, some ammo. Thanks, uh, you know, you get to help badly left the SA terminal in the pillar. Oh, yeah, that would do it. Um, I'm not going to be coming over there with a pillar, with a terminal, man. I've already got one over there. Uh, not really, Freddy. I, I'm one of those weird guys, right? When it comes to watching stuff and opinions and all that, I personally... Actually, I need to pull all this out and then recycle it back in. I am personally of the belief that I should make my own assessment and my own opinions. Okay, here we go. Wait, what's still on me? Oh. 69 thatch roofs. Uh, Giggity, it's two person only tribes on the Aberration server. It's, it's me and Digrid on a tribe. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to borrow my terminal, man. That's what I was trying to tell you. Ew. On the Aberration server, it's roughing it, man. for the glider you've been dying to get one for a long time now I know man I uh, I totally get that I totally get that okay so we're gonna grab big blue here 
We're gonna save big blue, teleport up. All right, we got a saddle, we got some arrows, we got some stuff to survive. Watch season three of Overlord, I'll come back later. All right, cool beans, man, have a good one. All right, and here we go, guys. We are going into the Aether. Uh, looks like Giggity's not on. I I'm joining, though. Hopefully he'll be there. Hopefully he'll be there. Oh, okay. Thank you for that, man. All right, so we're here, guys. We are on Operation Save Gig. We're on a Geely outfit, uh, which uh, is going to keep us safe-ish from the bad stuff. Thing is, though, is we don't know where Gig is. And we told Gig he needed to make sure he had certain things with him, and we, we, uh, we didn't. Um, what is that? That looks really nice and pretty. Oh, is that? That's an explorer note. Okay. You chose the wrong map. Okay, well, you want to cancel out. Because if it's telling you to create a new explorer, you want to get out of there. Yeah, that'll work. That'll help. All right. Don't know if I'm be able to save Giggity or not, guys. But I do see some more green crystal. So while we're here, we'll get as much of this as we can get. Or the pack of five ravagers and raptors. I uh, I will respect them, Gig, but I've, I've got two advantages. Uh, one, 
I do have a green stone, and it, that helps. And two, um, I do happen to have a ghillie suit, which as long as I don't go messing with them directly, for the most part, they're just going to avoid me altogether. I, I've been trapped on this server many a times, guys, on our, on our, with the way the servers are set up. Alright, the stone is a no-go. I'll drop the stone. Yeah, attempt number two. Alright, once more with feeling. We'll hopefully uh, see you signing in soon. So we're we're basically where we want to stop at, as far as that goes. Okay. Little bitty tree. All right. Funny, I don't remember a charged craft station over at the portal. Did I go the wrong direction, guys? No, I'm here. Well, son of a biscuit, if there's actually a, a charge portal over here, I'm... You can craft element up here? A lot better than I thought it was. My greed has killed me again, it seems. Probably should have done more research on how you transfer to other arcs. Um, well, I don't disagree. So, did you not? I'm really confused, Giggity, at this point, man. Let's see here. Foundation. We need thatch and wood. Yes. Yeah, you save all your stuff. Everything you grab on you. Um... Hopefully you're on the right server, though. I mean, I, I, I can see it's me and Digrat in our tribe, and that's all. Again, it's taking a bit. Okay. Yeah, the Aberration server does take a little bit to, to load. Uh, let's make our foundation. So we can actually build up here, which is good to know, because next time we do this, we're going to build a way station up here. Actually, bag takes hide. Is there some stone up here? So tough is because you start out with. Um, that's the expectation, Gig, is you're supposed to be starting out with tech tier armor. This is supposed to be an in game server. And so there is there is definitely some. Uh, there is some stuff there, right? Mo most people, when this server released, they were like, they were all kitted out. Alright, so do I not have stone foundations? I don't. Stone foundations. All right. So 
so we need a little more thatch, a little more, a little more everything. Oh, yuck. Okay. So we just need to get to the stone here, right? Is all we're trying to... Oh, we need more... We need more everything again. All right, what's so heavy in our inventory that we just can't keep? All right, that we can drop. That we can drop. That we can drop. That we can drop. 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 Regular old Jane playing crystal, while good, is not really on the menu right now. All right, so we should be able to move this. Well, actually, we can also drop this. All right, you're in. Okay. So let's, let's duck down and hope for the best here. We're going to give Giggity a, a real quick check so we can see where we're at. So that's right about where we're at, man. Our base is just a little further from there. So you got to make it here. Um, and I'll be able to give you some protection. Stone, thatch in, what, all of it. Okay. So that's going to be foundation. We need the stone. All right. And I recommend hugging the wall, man. I really recommend hugging the wall. And if you can get to me, we can get you down to my base and we can build you a gravestone. And you can put that down and get all your stuff real quick. That's, that's, the, that's the expectation right now, man. We can get you there. We can get you square. All we got to do now is just basically keep building foundations. I want to build four of them. All right, that should be way too much wood, metal, stone. All right, split. 17, okay. I know we need 40 wood. And a lot of thatch. Not quite all we need yet. All right, foundations. Some more thatch. Now we just need two more foundations. Hey, it's Giggity. All right, dude. So awesome. Awesome. All right. So we're going to go this way. And you see the... Where did he go? Oh, he's coming. All right. All right. So you see the, the metal overhang bridge? Underneath it is where my base is. So I recommend I think if you jump to this mushroom, you should be okay. Like right here. Uh. 
Uh, no, uh, McAdoo, we wanted this to be a little bit more hard on this server. Because we knew we had some players that wanted a higher challenge. I hope Giggity survived the fall. Alright, good. Alright. So the, the difficulty here is a little bit higher. Okay. Now over here. Yeah, all right. Let's see here. I know there's a I know there's a gap that you can safely traverse. I wanna say maybe here. Yeah, okay. If you walk carefully, gig. Hey Cherry, how's it going? I'm just taking a little giggity here to, to safety, hopefully. And then from right here, Gig, if you just jump into the water, you should land. Should be a safe fall. Awesome. Okay, now that looks like that looks like danger. What what is this? This is me not coming over with my Okay, so That's a car is what that is. We'll just go over there. All right, so this way should be safe now, Gig. He's about to die. She is. Very drowny death. gig went. Oh, there he is. Alright. Just woke up and can't go back to sleep. Well, that's uh, that's problematic a little bit. None of my dinos died, right? Okay, good. Alright. Oh, what's this? Um, a scorpion that died. Uh, let's see here. There's a hat in the spear form, so he can at least be armed. I think that drops in the water. So, like, if you were on here without anyone to help, guys, this that drop over there would be where you'd go next. All right, gig, we just gotta we just gotta fly around here or swim. I'll scout ahead a little bit. There's two raptors that guard my base, and they're they're about to get some extra muscle. A whole lot of extra muscle. Because stegos don't really help out. Alright. Now the one thing we did not turn on for this server was PvP. Because we didn't want PvP. We still wanted PvE. We didn't want people to be jerks. We just wanted it to be uh, a much harder kind of experience over here. What kind of creature are you? Triceratops head, Sasquatch hook arms and wings. I know, right? I'm, uh... All right, and here's here's the egress. This is what Giggity really wants to get a hold of. And I'm going to take Big Blue out. Saddle him up.
All right. So you are going to be on behavior, neutral, awesome. Anyone comes over to mess with you, you are going to hurt them a lot. Okay. So Giggity should be able to use the transporter now to get out of here. But we want to get him the stuff first. So let's um, grab that and grab this. And we're going to say, done, Ingram's grave, personal grave. All right. There, um, you can't use the grave unless you built it yourself. But if you'll come, oh, Spino's on follow. Aren't you cute, Big Blue? Got me stuck in my own base. All right, here we go. Oh yes, exactly a big dino, and it's a water-loving puppy dog is all it is. Okay, so, one second gig, here we go. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just some rock and some flint. Okay, nothing big. Alright. Inventory, drop, drop. You should be able to craft one now. And I think you may have to place it, like, up here. Because uh, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. I can't do any kind of like. Uh, I can do recruitment, but it's going to tell me that we have too many people. So, if you had a tribe built, we could do an alliance. But you should be able to craft it and place it down. I think you have to build it up here, though, because you're too close to our base. You might have to like. Somewhere you should be able to place it. You may have to even peek out. And then I would basically pick it up as soon as you use it. Oh, he won't—he won't attack you unless you take his, his stuff. So he's good. Um, yeah, there you go. Now you should be able to activate it. You should have all your stuff back. I would pick your gravestone up so that you have it available to you. And, uh, yeah, all these gemstones. Oh, my God. That's 12 red stones. That's, that's, that's really, really good. A big diner, there's double. Yes, it's a roll rat. They're moles. Uh, they're more like guinea pigs trying to find the thatch. Um, thatch is going to be out of the mushrooms. See these giant mushrooms? That's going to be thatch. And when they come out of the ground, they always dig up some gemstones. But yeah, the mushroom trees are going to be what you want to swing for thatch, man. The, the giant mushrooms. There's also uh, just regular trees, but you're going to find yourself in a world of hurt if you go over there. Let's see here. Actually, I think I might have some thatch on me, dude. Yeah. Uh, not a whole lot, though. All right. I'm just hoping that Giggity can use my oh snakes alive guys. It's a tech. It's a tech stega. Uh, what colors are you? These things are so awesome looking. Like the Rexes, are like ah oh, okay cool it's a Rex. The stegos though they they really bling them out. I mean there's some shiny bits. And this looks like it's got some like some blue highlights, some yellow accents. Puppy, dinos, big guinea pigs, what else? Um, a lot of other things that are what else. Oh, that's the roll rats. We don't want to get that. Yeah, I'll drop my roll rat. No, those are... Roll rats are blind. They think those are eggs. Oh, here we go. Light bulb pugs. Rock candy dino. Then whoop. Yep. Oh, yeah. Dodos. They're, they're like big old chickens. All right. Oh man, how how big a guinea pig are you? You're level 27. Ah, yes, little pugs. They used to be called lantern pugs in the in the beta notes. 
Got your stuff back. Go and head back. All right. And that's that's what I'm really hoping next is that Giggity can actually use this to head back. Oh, I also I hope he I hope he's able to use it, guys. That's like if he can't use the terminal, I'm gonna be very upset. For well, I won't be upset necessarily, but I'll be sad for Giggity. I'll have to pop back, get the materials to make a, a terminal, and then pop back and let him build one. That's really all I could do at this point. Excellent, that's good. Potato chips sound like a great breakfast? Um, yeah, I think they are. Alright, Giggity's safe. So that's that's important, guys. Giggity is alive. Now the bigger question for Giggity right now is did he get all the materials he needed to make his um, to make his thing? You came over here to learn the the jet. Hopefully you bothered to make sure you got the materials for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Spino's a water dino. That's what I mean by the sheer amount of raptors there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things here that you just don't want to see. if we can take a roll route or not. We're going to find out real fast. We know we can take a Stega, right? Boy, howdy, roll rats are bad. All right, there we go. Did you just nudge a turtle to death? Eh, sort of. If you look, I'm snapping at it with my, 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 my turf, with the uh, fangs. Second spinal, my dear. Okay, so we got him. Now the spino is is a we did tame an aberrant spino. No, some more gemstones. Okay. He's like level two, and he guards our uh, stuff now. Head butting to oblivion. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So giggity. Uh, I was. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can make the blue gems. It just takes a whole lot to make it. So I'm just. I'm just grabbing some because I don't see why not. So the Spino is considered one of the alpha predators on this server. And that's another reason why we, you know, even though we have the difficulty up here a little bit, it's it's uh, still not exactly super difficult, you know. That looked like another explorer note. 
Hey, you made it. Awesome gig. Glad to hear it, man. All right, so giggity save. What is that? Trilo? All right, we'll eat the Trilo. All right. Ed betting everything to death. Yes, we are. Uh, we're, we're eating them because they need to be edited. All right, so now we're going to go over here. We're going to teleport in all the meat we just got. Raw meat. 201. That should keep them guys fed for a healthy while. All right, this material. This garden plot, we just keep it over here. You guys can tell I've been over here playing a, a lot, too. Um... <laughs> I actually had a Spino saddle over here. Funny. Okay, well, we'll just take that one back so we can saddle up the other Spino then. Okay, so we are over encumbered. We got all the stuffs we need. We got the Spino there. He's got food. Last thing I need to do is check this beehive. And it's out of flowers. Okay. That should be a piece of cake to make. Um, I got 55 on me, Gig. I, I, I think I can just hand them to you when I get back. It's, it's the... It's the least I can do for all the raw materials you've been getting for us, man. It, it is the least I can do. Seriously. You are cherry. You're absolutely in the convo, and you know, the game is a great game. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> I think that might work. Um, let's see here. We're gonna take all these green stones we have and just drop them though, and then popcorn these away. Okay, we were building with some other stuff. All right, so where did we drop our portal device at? Love being the raw gatherer of the server. It's like a thing to do. Yeah, you know, nothing wrong with that. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, you probably won't be getting too many new video games for a while. Oh, okay. I, I take it you displease the parental units at some point. Now, I could swore that I had my portal open. Yeah, it's over there, okay. Hey, noob, how's it going? All right, we have that. So we need to turn that off, we need to pick it up. Back to our room. Okay. Trying to find Agent Argon. She didn't hide a lot. Okay. Um, I'm doing pretty good, man. I've been building on this base for a little bit. We had uh, one of our tribe mates on our Ragnarok server got lost in the Aberration server. So we sort of, you know, bounced some things back and forth. All right. Let's... Grab all of these? No, we don't have to grab all those. Because we put all that stuff over... Ah, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. Okay, wait. That's plus stone wall, but stone walls. Okay. That's what we had on us. Alright, here we are. Oh, thanks. We are, we're doing a lot of base building. Let's grab our feather light. 
left A at the blue pillar. Ah, that would that would definitely do it, Gig. All right, so we'll just stuff that in there. Pick this up, and we should. Uh oh. else happen here no one died everyone's fed everyone's clustered all right good okay so I think the parasaur is there I want to say ebony is over here too but I don't think so all right ebony where'd you go There she is. Come to Mag Synchro. Or don't. I mean, you can get here whenever you want to. All right. So. Well, I guess she'll get here whenever she wants. All right, so here we are. Um, we're going to put these blue stones where Giggy was. Oh, that's right. There's an actual Giga tromping around somewhere that we were prepping for before Giggity got stuck. All right, back to reality, Mag. All right. Uh, I don't think we need the energy brew. We need these two. We need to... Yeah, we need to go back to Ebony. We're going to have to go patrolling for a Giggy. That's right. That's why we have all the metal in our arc terminals because we're about to make some some Quetzal kibble. All right. Oh yeah, I appreciate that. All right, so Ebony's up there. Uh, let's get our arc terminal out. Hey, Dayton. Yes, uh, Quetzal, uh, Cherry. They are giant birds. Uh, we actually own one. But we have not got it over there. To oh, you... Okay, appreciate that gig. Appreciate that, man. Alright, let's take the raw metal out. Go over here. This is the kibble table. It takes raw metal, and you can actually make kibble with it. Quetzal kibble they consumable. Craft all. We're gonna make six of them. Yeah, oh yeah, giant burbs. Uh, burbs make Hitchcock go, no. <laughs> we don't want anything to do with them burbs. Alright. You know, if they were less than usual burbs, they would be sub burbs. Oh, guys, I got a million of them. Going to get a burb soon. That's cool. Uh, there's nothing wrong with birds. You know, I, I know you was talking about one a while back. Alright. Is this a... That's Owl. Wait. That's that's an aberrant spina. Awesome. That's what we wanted to see. Check it out there. Oh, I uh, I don't think there's a such thing as a terrible pun. Quetzal Quashius is the largest known flyer that ever existed. Yes, I am aware of that little factoid. All right, now. Climb up there, get on our small bird. All right, land you over here. Stay. Chat is totally breaking. Oh, that's unfortunate. The size is about the same as a giraffe, though this may change slightly due to words too fast words all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to say inventory 
We're going to go crafting, trank arrows. We're going to say we need probably 200 to... Probably 200 to take this thing out. Alright, take care of Charity. Or Cherry, not Charity. Wrong person. Alright, oh yeah. It's also the reason why our, our feather light was away. You stay right there. Stay right there, okay. Oh, I had some blue gemstones here anyways. Sorry about that, Gig. Uh, Digger, I probably could have crafted you one, too. All right, that's double the crossbow, double the fun. They're both there. They're both on that. We got those. We got that. Good. Now, next we need is the kibble we crafted, which is down this way. I, because all the food is over on this side of the base. All right. Boom, all right. Seems good there. Next we need to craft gravestone. And sleeping bag. And we just gotta wait for all these to craft now. Uh, let's just clear the queue for a second. So we can actually Grave that, gravestone, and sleeping bag, and trank arrows. Alright, so two sleeping bags hopefully will be enough for this Giga. I have no idea what level the Giga was. Did not stick with I don't blame you, McAdoo. I don't blame you. Um, we are... We're not really looking forward to potentially doing this, but if it's a big giga, oh. Actually, if it's a big giga, I know exactly what we got to do. We got to get some, some, we got to get some prime cooked meat stuff, guys. It's about the red tappy. Help that. Um... There's like four or five of those colors, uh, giggity. And we dino wipe the server every Wednesday. Um, uh, like after stream. Hey, again, triangle. So, it would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it would have been the same one. Yeah, po possibly. Um, what is going up with you? Oh, no, not you. Oh, that's Argon. I found Agent Argon, Gig. He's, he's over here. Oh, I plan to, like, flying around on the Ar Argy, and uh, we got to wait for all these arrows to finish crafting so we can jump off of this. I need to make a better way to get up here than what we currently have. Maybe take out these rails and make some sort of really cool thing. Spare glider suit in the smithy. Uh, it's dig rats. I wouldn't take it. <laughs> she just crafted it. She's the one who actually uh, has the recipes, man. Yeah. Yeah, she uh, she crafted it, and then we got to building on the base. You did learn the engram while you was over there, right, Gig? All right, where did where did I fit Ebony at? There she is. Let me. T whistle, Y whistle. Come out, fly over here, along with everybody else, just keep it safe. You did learn it. Okay, cool. So you should have everything you really need for it, though, I, I think. Glider. 
Oh, I don't. I can't tell what it is anymore because I unlearned it. You was on your RG. Oh yeah, I already read that. Come on, Mag. All right, so. We have the arrows. It's okay, you can get a lot of materials. Yeah, I think the gemstones is the only big thing, uh, gig, that I can think of that you may not have had. All right, so. been told there's a gig over here somewhere guys so not in this area Water of that is awfully large-ish. All right, D's, H's, okay. There's a Rex around here, which Rexes don't scare me. So it was down and all that, McAdoo. along the outer edge trying to find the crystal. So like this edge here, edge of the mountain. So there's the Therizeno. There's some flying footballs. Yes, it was in a bushier area. All right. Wrong way. All right, so this direction. Oh, we're out of stamina. Up, 
here's the falls. Here's the gate. So we're gonna we're gonna stick to right here a little bit. See that Giga, if he gets just right over here, we are just toast. And I know. Over here is some scariness a little bit. I'm not sure what level on the mountain. Okay, well. If I had to guess. Oh, is that a blue RG? Maybe not. Alright, so it's going to be over here somewhere. If it's still here, I don't... I'm pretty sure we haven't done a Dino White. An unscheduled one. Because this, this thing here, if, if there's a Giggy right over here... I mean, this is awfully close to the blue obelisk. And this That means it's like near Giggity's area. Show wild dinos, does, mows, mel, all right. So right over here is as bushy as it gets. to ask this question, McAdoo, but are we certain it was a Giga and not a Rex? I, I don't, you know, I I know you know what they look like a lot better than I do. Alt F4. Oh, well, well, you know, it got rid of the troll. That's awesome. It's not a roar. Oh, okay. Well, then that is some concern still. Thank you, moderator, for that. By the way, that was that was funny. No gig is attacked. It was bigger than a rack. All right, so bigger than a bread box and smaller than a Mack truck. is basically how you describe an allosaur. A giga is the the grossest sized thing in the world. I mean, it, it is it is nasty. So we're going to have to approach on foot, guys. Boy, howdy, there's a lot of stuff alive for a Giga to be around here. A lot of trees, too. Alright. He was closer to the mountain. Well, this is pretty close to the mountain. I mean, right, right there's the mountain. I mean, the, the bushy area, that, that is, that is right where it's at.
There's a Thera Xenomi, but the same level as the crystals. Well, this is the same level as the crystals that I normally harvest. But they're further down that way. Like, were you nearby the crystals, Spackadoo? Because the crystals are to the right of my gate over here. That could be what it is, guys. We could be f too far to the west. Crystals are right over here. We're gonna flap a little bit. So here's the crystals. Not very, very close to the crystals more east. Okay. Okay, so here is our eastmost gate area. One thing I don't like is not being able to have the most efficient route I know. Can't spell worth. <laughs> Alright, so this is the same level that the crystals were on. You can see it's not too bushy here right now, but you know, if, if a Giga did come through here, he would have knocked down all the bushes. I don't think he would have traversed all that though. I think he would have fell down here. So we've gone all the way to the east. I don't know. I think people at home giggity want to watch me die to a, a giga possibly. Oh wait, more to the east? All right, all right. East is like all the way back by my, my big base, not my tree house. I got my west and my east mixed up. So more to the east. So between the crystal and the 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 Magrul Castle, as Giggity calls it. If I'm understanding correctly. Which would make the mountain to your right side. Sorry, keep the mountain on your left. So the mountain on my left. And I mean, if it was a small Giga, I mean, it's possible that it's dead.
So near the crystal spot to the west of our base, at the level where the crystal is, which is down one level from where I'm at right now, we're up here to keep the, the Giga away. And... Okay, I'm not sure about that Giga. Hat. Well, it, you know, you're more than welcome to look for it, man. I have no problem with that. See, there's level 77 Rex over here. So there's the racks. Titans, how's it going, man? We've been doing some base building, and now we are... There's a Giga, supposedly, over by Viking Bay. And I have not been able to find it with Dino Tracker or by Eyesight. So I'm... I'm, uh... I'm nervous. I'm really nervous, because Viking Bay is smack dab in the heart of our operation where we're built at. Um... You can go in the water for a swim, Raptor. Wow. Look at that. Looks like the aberration server spilled over. Bye bye. Maybe it was the Rex because of not Roar and the Sunlight Attack. I thought it was a Giga. Well, you know, I'm. I am not ruling it out as a Giga yet, but I am, I mean, Gigas don't even have a spawn over here, so, oh, well, hello, Dolly, how are you? Look at this, guys, this thing looks like the Dragon Zord from Power Rangers. That is, that is, wow. These tech dinos just look so super awesome. Their, their coloring is so good. Look past the raptors. All right, past the raptors. I'm doing good, Titans. I'm doing good, man. It's uh, So far, it's been a pretty good weekend. The weekend's ending in a little bit. But it's, you know, I can't complain. I, I've got some games in. I've got the, you know, spent some time with the misses. Um, a, a lot of stuff. Let's see, I got a Discord notification. Oh, that doesn't big deal. And doing this giant, ginormous, gigantic base build for dino storage. All right, so we're going to go back to where the raptors were. We're going to go past the raptors. Definitely looks bushy over here. All right. And it's about 6 o'clock, guys. We usually call the stream here. I'm going to kind of center myself in a few key spots above these tree lines real quick. 
I don't really want to fly down in this brush. A galley, so there's the first G we found in a little bit. Still got a galley there. And now it's open field. Galley. Alright. Did you want to help me out? You, you just noticed the time. Oh, uh, well, up to you, Macadoo. Up to you. I mean, finding it is important. Uh, getting rid of it, uh, doubly so, if, if, it, if it is a Gekka. Um, and I, I know McAdoo, you, you far know better where you were when you saw it, but I know your computer access is limited too. So, we're gonna, if it's over here, then it absolutely poses not a single bit of threat to our main base. Metal base, maybe. But boy, I mean, let me let me go on Arcpedia again, real quick, guys, because I'm beginning to think that we probably just mistook a Rex for a Giga, and you know, I've done that. I have done that so many times on this game. Oh my God, I can't even think about the number of times I've done it. And let's go to Ragnarok. Oh. Okay, there is south of the Canyon River? Like, way past... Let's see here. Okay, way past... Uh, open image in new tab. Let's open the image. Just takes a bit. All right. Um, I wish I could show this, guys. I don't have it really set up well on my computer. But yeah, so there, there's, there shouldn't be a Giga spawning anywhere nearby. Like Viking Bay, um, that'd be just way too ugly. I mean, not even the rare spawns for a Giga are over here. Um, hey, Nintendo, how's it going? Like, yeah, I'm looking at all the, the spawn spots on the map, McAdoo. I mean, I know weird things happen on Ark, right? But for a Giga to get all the way to that point of our base, it would have had to cross the Canyon River that we're looking at here, come past the metal base, and then up all this. Um, I mean, it's... I mean, theoretically, it's possible. I just don't see it. I mean, the likelihood is low. Yeah, Turtle Club, I, uh, I gotta say, I don't know. I don't know. It, it is... It is highly possible. I know me and uh, Digrat spent like three days taming Hesperonis this week. So, I, yeah, we didn't do any kind of unscheduled Dino Wipes or anything. 
so they should all be still here, whatever has been here. But yeah, I, uh, I've not been able to find one. So guys, I'm going to call it good real quick. I'm going to skedaddle. Here's a pretty good sign that I'm getting close to my base. Giggity, your 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 treehouse is a little low to the ground, dude. You might want to. I, I did not say it was a threat to base, but I'm sure. Oh yeah, well, gigas gigas are uh, they can wander as where anywhere they want to. I can do that's. When you said they were nearby, um, that, that's why I was immediately concerned. Jaro Canaro, welcome to the Turtle Club. I uh, I presumed you were new, Ninten. I presumed you was new. I I, I I recognize the name somewhat because you know we do play Nintendo Switch, uh, so Ninten kind of you know triggers some familiarity. And of course, Station makes me think of PlayStation, but. There's the other Rex. Pretty sure that's a Rex. Yeah, that's a Rex. Getting to see one compared to a Brontosaurus for a comparison helps you take a look. guy is. There he is. Oh, no, that's just bugs. Okay. Gig was fighting bugs. Okay. The Rex doesn't want any more to do with this anymore. There we go. Level 46. That's not too bad. That tells me it's not the one we saw, though. That is around the right area, so it could be that Rex, I guess. Okay. All right, so that that is... So if it's right around here... Yeah, there, there's... there's uh, yeah. Uh, the icon was supposed to be something different? Okay. Not sure what icon you might be thinking about in the station, but yeah, right around here. I, I don't remember there being much crystal over here, but I I don't farm crystal over here that often. But if there's a Giga right over this area, oh, and see you, uh, dude. We're about to sign off, man. <laughs> but it's all right. It's all right, dude. No worries. Oh, your icon. I on my screen. The chat's like so super small. I can't really tell why people's icons are. I just kind of go by coloration and hope for the best. Okay, so, well, guys, we are going to be calling it good at this point. We are flying right here to this little area so we get to um, park in it. Yeah. But yeah, Turtle Club, it's been super fun streaming with you. He's trying to find the crystal. I, I understand, Foxy. I understand. Um, but yeah, guys, we're going to have a, a break. We take a two-hour break at 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. We are currently in bonus random stream mode because we have a vote going on in our Discord. And actually, I uh, I don't know if I have an active mod yet, so let's just go ahead and do this. Um, that way you guys can see the link to the Discord. So in our recommendations room, once you agree to the rules, you got to read the rules and agree to it. But in our recommendations room, there is a vote going on to choose what the next stream game is going to be, guys. So other than liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and smoke signals, and telling everybody about the channel, if you really want to kind of help shape and build the channel up, you can vote on one of the 20 games that are currently in selection for us to be streaming next every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
Um, so yeah, I'll take a look at it if you guys want to. If not, that's cool. You don't have to. We're not forcing you. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna have a good break. Um, I'm gonna finish the rest of this awesome meal here. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so take take care, guys. Um, have a good one. You know, good morning, good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner, whatever you have to do. Just make sure it's a good one, Turtle Club, and take care.